The world is in financial disarray. Currencies failing, economies in wild flux, jobs being lost. But what if you could build an entirely new economy, one specifically designed for the digital realm? Well, that is the dream behind Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a decentralised electronic cash system that uses peer-to-peer -peer networking along with digital signatures and crypto graphics to generate currency. Now, with traditional money, think dollars, the euro, pesos, you've got a central bank, like the Federal Reserve. They issue the currency and they print more or less cash as needed, but not with Bitcoin. Bitcoins are generated using a process called mining. Your computer is given a complex mathematical problem to solve, and the goal is a 64-digit number. If your grey box can successfully solve that algorithm, then congratulations, you are the proud owner of a new block of 50 bitcoins. The network automatically adjusts the difficulty of mining so that 50 bitcoins are created roughly every 10 minutes. The reason they call it mining is because there's a set number of bitcoins that can ever be mined in the system. There's only 21 million bitcoins that will ever be created in total. You can't just print off cash like they do in the real world. You're digging it out of the system like precious metals from some mathematical mine. Right now, a Bitcoin is roughly worth 70 US dollars. Last year, miners generated the equivalent of $16.7 million worth of Bitcoins, and we're only halfway down the mine shaft with over 10 million Bitcoins unearthed already. Like any economy, you don't want too much too fast because then the value of your currency drops, or so slow that your economy grounds to a halt. It's designed to be a self-stabilising economy. Whether it actually is that way though, well that is a little bit more complicated. Welcome to the exchanges. These exchanges allow people to buy and sell bitcoins with each other. The largest bitcoin exchange is Mt Gox. And it's here that you can purchase bitcoins using local currencies. You can even store bitcoins too. Mind you, that can be a bit risky. Hackers have, on occasion, dangerously destabilised these exchanges. Bitcoin is also the currency that fuels what's known as the dark web. Using software called Tor, you can hide your identity online and access the digital marketplace they call the Silk Road, where sellers flog illegal drugs like LSD, heroin and marijuana. Buyers conduct all transactions using Bitcoin. The influence of Bitcoin is growing. WikiLeaks and WordPress will accept Bitcoin as cash. Even the ideas behind Bitcoin are already changing the way people think about cash. The Royal Canadian Mint have just launched Mintchip, an electronic currency backed by the Canadian government that borrows a lot from the philosophy of Bitcoin. And ultimately, that is what's most powerful about Bitcoin. Not the coins itself, but the way it can change the way we look at, think about, and most importantly, spend our money.